Hey everybody, it's Quentin J. Parker, your pilot, back with another uh, procedure video. We have here the Torque Sim Cirrus SR22 G3, the base model, not the turbo normalized one. As the 22TN is a completely different plane uh, with different considerations, I may end up doing a separate uh, video for its startup procedures. That's it. We're going to start as always with the pre-flight. Under the general tab of the SR-22 aircraft menu, in the upper left corner you're going to have ground equipment. Chocks, tie down and fuselage covers, pitot cover, and inlet cover. I'm going to engage the tie down and fuselage cover just to show you what it looks like. There's only one chalk and it's on the nose wheel. And out it goes. Remove tie down and fuselage cover. Remove pitot cover. And remove inlet covers. So having completed the pre-flight, we can start by removing the caps handle safety pin. And unlike the Hold My Beer SR22, once you remove it, there's no place that it shows up. Step two, verify that the parking brake is engaged. Step three, verify that circuit breakers are flush. DME, cabin air, keypads, AP servos, fuel quantity, cabin lights. Alright, finally ready to get started. Battery 1, battery 2. Strobe lights are on. Fuel selector to the left or right. Uh, I usually just go with left. Mixture to full rich. Power lever to full forward. And fuel pump. If it's the first flight of the day, give it a two to six second prime and then boost. Otherwise, if the engine is warm, you can just set it to boost. All right. Close it up so I can see what's going on. Prop area is clear. Okay, we take the key from this little cubby and insert it into the ignition switch. Clear prop! Okay, what I'm doing is I'm cycling the uh, power lever between idle and full power until the prop catches. And once it does, I'm going to hold that power setting for just a moment just to make sure it's not a false start and jockey the power lever and verify that the RPMs match what I'm doing. If they match, we're good to go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alt 1 and Alt 2 to on. Now the manual says 
to idle at a thousand. However, if you turn on Alt 2 and you idle at a thousand, you're going to get an Alt 2 fault on your CAS messages right there. If you increase your idle RPM to above 1180, it'll clear. Avionics switch to on. Okay, just kind of monitor the engine. Exterior lighting as necessary. Nav, landing light, icing light. Okay, now over by the, uh, on the MFD, press the ENT soft key. You're gonna cycle through a couple of pages, uh, just to kind of, you know, let you check to see that you're okay to fly. Verify that the uh, fuel display uh, reflects the quantity that you observed during your pre-flight. And that's it. You are now free to configure your plane for your flight. I'm doing this engine startup video in detail uh, so I don't have to do it in my regular videos. I mean, you can see it didn't take much time to get started, but you know, people have things to do. This has been your pilot, Quentin J. Parker. I'll catch up with y'all later. I'm out.